Well, I wanted to explain something. You're all fired. <laughs> <laughs> We're actually on strike right now. Oh, all right. Yeah. So we're going to take a trench here from this stake on this side of the string line right here to width of the, our tires. Um, basically, we're going to start, well, our low spot is probably out over there or over here. We're going to go down essentially about six to eight inches. We're just going to make a cut. We're going to throw the earth kind of in here again and um, to kind of continue building up our pad. Basically, I think if we just all jump on this with bucket shovels, um, picks, we can just kind of get it. And as we, as we start, we can have a friendly competition. We could have a crew down there and a crew there. Where's the pick? I don't mind losing that competition, okay. actually. I'll, I'll happily be the loser. Happily the, end the loser. loser. <laughs> Basically, because of the conditions here, we're worried about, I'm worried about, um, the clay heaving. So we want to go down a little bit into the ground to prevent frost heave. Ideally, we should be going down 18 to 20 inches in this region of the country, but um, oh, there's a gentleman back here with a question. I have a question. Did you find heaving? Oh, heaving frost oh, heave, which is when you have moisture in the ground, the ground freezes, water expands when it's frozen. The ice crystal is one of the only materials in the world or in the universe that we know of that is lar larger in its solid state. How are we going to establish our like subfloor here without a builder's level and how? You mean this, this yeah, trench. How are we going to establish that tire wall to that tire wall? We're like not level with. We're not. Um, we're not trying to make it equal to that tire wall there. So with the framing, we'll just compensate for the whatever framing, we need. Or this back wall. Once we kind of establish where our top plate's going to be, we'll adjust this back wall to accommodate that that top plate. Okay. Basically, what we're going to try to do is get six to eight inches below here. Um, it's, you know, and then we can start there and just kind of eyeball, and then we'll just kind of meet in the middle, like the channel in France and England, and hopefully we merge. What we just did here is we dug a trench to put our front greenhouse tires in. We'll probably go two courses of tires up from here. And right now we just need a level from this spot, make sure we're going across level to the east and going across level to the west. So I'm checking my level here for level. Checking my level here for on a lump, but to there is relatively level. Yep, we're going up a little bit, so we're going down there, so I have a little lump right here. I know, it's, oh god, I mean, what else? In the tire wall, you need to maintain your staggered courses as you go up. See here, this tire uh, falls between these two, and this tire falls between these two, and that's because when you pound them down, you end up having a bulge that comes out the bottom, which locks this tire into these two tires down here. Uh, so when you're doing that, maintaining that stagger, sometimes you end up with gaps in your tire wall that you just can't, uh, you just can't uh, fill with either a small tire that you squeeze and to get it in there. Um, so in order to compensate for these small gaps, you need to put in a, uh, a concrete filler block. So to do that, uh, we're using a lath formwork um, on the front face of these tires. So you just take a piece of lath, stick it up on these tires, and you tack it up with screws or nails, like this. When you pour your concrete in here, you know, it's gonna put, it's gonna put pressure against the lath. And if, you, if this thing is not tightly secured, it'll just blow out and your concrete will spill all over the place. So we're using these like roofing nails with a little washer here. Um, the nails we were using before had too small of a head, so the lath it was popping through the holes in the lath. So um, any, kind of, any kind of nail with a bigger head is easier with lath. So I'm pushing the lath into the corners here to fill up any void that might be it might be in this form because the concrete could also spill out out of those voids. Okay. 
That's pretty good. Cool. That's solid. Now. Okay, so now our lath is secured, nice and strong. Uh, on the back side, we're going to use a form made out of our back fill. You can see here in an earlier video, we talked about the French drain. That's actually the French drain, this pea gravel is our backfill behind this uh, tire wall. So as this rises, it'll hold up the back of this plastic just like this. When we pour our concrete, it'll form against, it'll, it'll form against our pea gravel uh, backfill. So Brad, what's your ratio for the, uh, for the, uh, these cement blocks in the tire wall? We're doing three to one. So we got 15 to three, 15 sand to three cement. Yeah, so. 15 shovelfuls to, yep, shovelfuls to three cement. And they should be comparable in size with your shovels. Oh, yeah. If they're small, keep them small. If they're large, keep them large. So, so here we go, making a, a filler block with concrete. A dry mix of concrete and a formwork of lath, expanded metal lath. So we just do a small little, kind of a low quality concrete that's more than adequate for this application. So we're looking here at the finished uh, concrete block that uh, fills in the gap between two of our tires. We had a small gap in between the tires that was too small for a squeezer tire. Uh, here is our that lap that is acting as the uh, form on the interior wall side for the concrete and on the back we have our our berm and our French, the pebbles for our French drain acting as a as an earthen form on the back side of the concrete block. You can see here in the middle there's a piece of rebar stuck in the in the concrete there. That is to act as a stake that's going to stake into the earth bags. We're st next course is not tires, it's earth bags. And uh, this is going to, earth bags will be dropped right onto this and it's going to help us secure those earth bags into the tire wall.